hello and welcome to another video of the course in this video i am going to how we can record and edit macros in ansys maxwell software to avoid doing repetitive tasks in this video i am going to set the name of these coil arms actually proper names but i don't want to do it manually by just clicking on every object and change its name here i want to do it by program in ansys maxwell software there are two languages for recording the script python and vbs i am going to use vbs because the vbs files are executable in windows and you don't need to install any extra software and the another reason is that if you learn vbs programming you can use it both here and in excel also i used VBS programming in Excel for analytic design. So I prefer to use VBS. For editing of the VBS code, you can install Notepad++ software. It's free. You can download and install it. So now I am going to explain you uh, simple example of vbs programming for example i want to show a message i can use this function in vbs language msg box show this message for me hello vbs this is a, a string right a string variable and i'm going to use this function so let me save as this file as vbs test dot vbs save so as you can see here this is a vbs program and is an executable file. You can see this file here, VBS test. If I double click on this icon, you can see here this message, hello VBS, I implemented this function. So, or you can run this code from here, right click on this tab, open in default viewer, hello VBS. So I'm going to use Notepad++ for recording and editing of macros. You can record macros from here, from tools, record a script to file. So I record a script to file. I am going to record this script, rename coils i select this name i select this object polyline one and i am going to change its name a stator coil arm we need to select a proper name so i am going to use this naming let me stop a script recording. A stator coil arm. As you can see here, the ANSYS Maxwell software generated this script for us. Now I can open and edit this script. So these are for definition of variables. We don't need to edit this part of the code and only we need to edit 
this function. Actually, we used this function for rename of this object, polyline one, to this name, state or coil R. So I am going to use these names. Let me take an image, paste it here. I have 15 slots. This is tooth number one, tooth number two, tooth number three, four, and so on. So I am going to call this a stator coil arm one or let me this name this name is better a state or coil arm in one and this coil as a state or coil arm out one. So the direction of the current in this coil arm is out of the paper and this one is inside the paper. So the magnetic axis of this coil in the, is in this direction. I am going to set the name of coil arms in this manner. So this is the magnetic axis of coil 2, magnetic axis of coil 3, magnetic axis of coil 4, and so on. So this is direction of current for coil 4. Right? So, here I set this name, a state or coil arm, in 1. So if you see this object, what is the next one? The next one is this, 18. Polyline 1, dash 18. Polyline 1, dash 19, to 31. For concatenating an integer and a string in VBS programming language, we can use this code for example this is an integer i define this variable a equal to 5 this is a string for example coil r i can use this fu this function to convert an integer into and a string and then using the plus sign we can concatenate a string to the another string so i can write here b plus cstr this function is convert to str a built-in function in vbs language i write a so convert a that is an integer to a string object and then concatenate it with b so let me save and run this code open coil arm 5 right so how i can use this pattern for rename of these objects this object for for example polyline 118 I copy this name and now I am going to write a for loop. You can search via the web for syntax of VBS programming, right? That is not the purpose of this video. I write here for i equal 1 to 14 because already I set the name of 1 object right a state or coil arm in one and i write here next change the name of this object polyline one plus cstr 
what is the name of this object 18 so i write here i plus 17 right so when i is equal 1 this is 18 convert to a string polyline 1 dash 18 change its name to a state or coil arm in plus CSTR I plus one right so let me save and run this code open in default viewer so as you can see here our code is executed and these are the names a state or coil arm in one in two in three in four inside coil arms now i am going to change the name of this object this is actually the tooth number 15 so i write here a state or coil arm out 15. now what about this one this is out one out two and so on so we have a pattern for this name i can use program i copy this paste it here i delete this one from 1 to 14 1 17 dash 1 1 17 dash 1 to 14 change the name to a state or coil arm out i a state or coil arm out i so if i run this code as you can see here the code is executed this is a coil arm out one two three four five and so on right so this is the procedure for recording of macros and editing it in notepad plus plus and avoiding repetitive tasks right so it's good because when the number of stator slots or number of poles is high it's uh, very good if we can use VBS programming to reduce the modeling time okay i think it's enough for this video and let's continue in the next video thanks for watching